guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet. And yes, we are in Missouri at Mudwater River. And what we're going to be going after today is something we haven't tried before. Uh, we're actually going to be fishing for freshwater drum. Now, freshwater drum can be found here at Mudwater River and it can also be, they can also be found in Michigan. Now, I have not caught them there yet but I will be checking that out fairly soon. Now, I have tried all over this particular lake and it seems like the best spot to catch them is right here at, well, it's near Catfish Heaven, not at Catfish Heaven, but near it. So if you go to Catfish Heaven, which is this third one here, now I'm gonna go to a private room so I'm not getting a whole bunch of background stuff and turn that off now this is not where we're going to be going we're not going to, to where the catfish are we're going to be coming over here to this location here where you can see that big log right out there you see it right there now I was fishing for catfish earlier, so that's why I still have that in my particular thing. But this will require float fishing, guys. I don't think, I'm not saying it's impossible to catch them with a bait casting rod. What I'm saying is, I haven't caught one with a bait casting rod. So, <laughs> anyway, what we want, the rod I have right now, let me go ahead and check this out. Uh, this one's kind of big. We're going to go with this one here. This is. The Omni Float, 14 foot by 10 inch, and we are using Mono 0.008 line. So I think that's four pound test. It's nothing heavy. I'm going to go with a one or two odd hook for this particular type of fish. Let's go with one odd. That just sounds good to me. And we're going to get us uh, one of these chubby bobbers. And let me see here. The bait in question, guys, is shrimps. Now, my understanding is they will go for small fish and they will also go for egg sacs but the shrimp seems to be a big big part of their diet now these guys are bottom feeders a lot like our catfish are so we're going to go way way deep down to about 99 inches all right let's see i think everything looks like it's set up the way we need it to be yep i think we're good now this hey this happens to be a sunny day it's seems like they do best between about somewhere between about 4 and maybe 7 p.m. so I'm gonna advance time just a little bit here 4 p.m. here and switch over to my other rod yeah cuz we're not fishing for big cats here we're fishing for these guys now I would take my drag down a bit because these guys are these guys are pretty strong they will initially put up quite the fight, but once they once you've got them hooked and you've got them worn out, they wear out pretty fast. So then you can bring them in with fairly fairly easily. And what you want to do is this area right over here, really anywhere along here, seems to be an excellent excellent area for these guys. Now I'm going to throw it right in front of this log. It seems like the log is a major hot area for these guys now it's out about 95 feet now I've I've run into look we're already getting a bite <laughs> that didn't take long uh, anywhere from between about 90 about 120 feet to maybe 80 feet 70 feet all right come on don't give up on me now there he goes all right Let's see if we got him here. All right. And actually, these guys are pretty easy to catch. I mean, they really are. They're not that tough. But you got to watch 
unless you got a really heavy rod. Now, the reason I use the Omni Float is because you can get this this fairly easy, and they will take out your line. But I've got 419 feet, so I'm not worried about that. What I really need to do is just let him get himself a little tired out, and then I'll just reel him in. He's gonna take it a little ways. Now I could probably up the drag. No, no, better not, better not. He's still pulling. He's wow. This one may be. This one may be a little heftier than some of the ones I've caught before. Let's see if we can't be nice if this is a trophy. All right, come on, fish. He is. Yeah, I've not had him take out this line this far before, to be honest. Usually 130 feet, and then they just start coming in on their own. Come on. Wow, he is really taking it. Okay. I think we're gaining ground on him now, a little bit. He may be just a really large one but not a trophy. I've not caught a trophy to be honest. I've caught a bunch of these guys but no trophies so I couldn't honestly say for certain that they are tro I mean that there are trophies but you know you never know. They may just be very rare. Alright let's get this guy in now. Yeah, he's coming fairly easy now. He's starting to tire out. It's like I said, they tire out pretty good, but they're a pretty thick-bodied fish, so they do offer some resistance. Just be patient. Just be patient with him. Keep that ten always make sure you keep the tension on that. I was kind of surprised I got a bite so quickly. Usually I throw it out there and I'm waiting maybe at least five minutes or so. Apparently this guy was hungry. Like I am one hungry fish. Alright, let's get him in here. Take a look at this guy. Yeah, you're going to need a fairly decent rod to get these guys in. But you're not going to need, you know, like a, you know, a sea rod or anything. And this is pretty light line. It's something you can get fairly early. The shrimp, however, you do have to have a little more advanced in your levels but not too bad not too bad alright he's coming now yeah I'm get I'm gonna start muscling him in because this is getting alright he's almost here now you see how silver he looks? Oh wow, he is a trophy. <laughs> oh man. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the XP on these guys are pretty good, but I had no idea I was landing me a trophy. None whatsoever. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get me a snapshot of this guy. This guy is pretty, pretty, pretty. Yes, there we go. 105 points guys that's you're not going to get a whole lot higher except with maybe the uh, trophy gar on this particular lake I mean that's as good as it gets right there that's as good as it gets all right let's give it another shot here remember what I told you right about there I knew he was fighting too hard I knew he was fighting too hard I kept thinking Man, either he's a very large freshwater drum or he's a trophy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's the first trophy I've got of these guys. Right here while I'm recording. I can't beat that. All right. 
Anyway, let's just see. Well, like I said, it doesn't take long. These guys are pretty, they're pretty ravenous. Pretty ravenous little fish. The only thing is you got to watch your bobber, though, because, you know, you saw that little blue go off there, but when that one attacked it last time, there really wasn't any blue. It just started going off to the left. So you really need to watch. Really watch, guys. Because it looks like he's not interested, and that's what I thought on the last one. But... Alright, there's one. He's still there. He's still there. Alright, come on. Quit your fiddling. Quit fiddling around. There he goes. See what I mean? It, it really wasn't anything major. It's just like, all of a sudden, he goes for it. I believe carp will do the same thing for the most part too, but they do, they play with it a little bit more. I mean, you 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 know you these guys. It's like, well, do they have it or not? <laughs> then all of a sudden, boom! Now this is going to be a regular size one, so you can kind of get a good look at this guy. There you go. Now that's what you're typically going to catch. But if you notice, it's about 27 XP, not bad, and about three and a half pounds. So you do, you know, you can't just use a little bitty rod. These guys, they're they're decent sized fish. I mean, three three and a half pounds—that's not a small fish. All right. Well, anyway, guys, that there is the freshwater drum. I hope you enjoyed that episode, and I hope this helps. But you have any questions please you know make sure you put in the comments I will tell you that the two odd hook is also good to use I um, honestly well, I'll tell you what guys let me see if I have any I don't think I do but uh, no if I did I'd go ahead and try it but I tell you I can't honestly tell you whether or not you can catch these guys with the eggs or not, but I don't have any on me. So, you know, give it a try, see how well that works. But I would use the same techniques, make sure that you keep about the same depth and everything that I just showed you. Anyway, guys, until next time, I will see you later. Bye bye.